Hi everybody, uh, here I am to talk about uh, Nomeo and Juliet, uh, another animated movie, just in time for Valentine's Day. Uh, as you can guess, it's basically the story of Romeo and Juliet, but told with garden gnomes. Uh, you got the red gnomes and you got the blue gnomes. And they hate each other because the neighbors hate each other. Uh, it basically follows the story of Romeo and Juliet, but it's also got uh, just got a Toy Story kind of vibe to it because it's got the same thing as Toy Story, as in whenever a human would show up, they'll just turn stiff and like act like they're really garden gnomes or in Toy Story toys, but here's garden gnomes. And I can't say I ever understood why they do this, like, why they have to pretend like they're not alive, never got explained to me, but whatever, it's just a minor point of mine. Uh, so this movie has a lot, it's pretty much a British movie, everyone in this movie is British from what I can tell. Uh, you got, uh, you got Michael Caine in it, you had, uh, you had Jason Statham, uh, I think, uh, the woman who plays Professor McGonagall, Maggie Smith, uh, also it's a British cast all around. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, I was going to these animated movies thinking, ah, it's going to be kiddie, it's going to be annoying, it's going to be the same jokes over and over. And to an extent, it pretty much is, but I always end up having fun. It's weird. There's always something in there that, that I, I have fun with. Uh, they're always good at the side characters that are funny, like in this one, they're. Uh, Juliet, there's a, she has like a frog helper, and uh, she's pretty hilarious. I uh, also like the little psych, little uh, small, small characters. Like there's a uh, little mini gnomes with big hats. They're funny, and there's a uh, little bunny gnomes, and uh, they got the little ears that move things, and they all do sorts of crazy things with it. And uh, a few movie references in there. I didn't expect. Uh, there's actually even a Commando reference in there. I didn't see that coming. Uh, good job, movie. You. Uh, Record, you reference my favorite movie of all time. That gives you points right there. Uh, another funny thing was, uh, was a Hulk Hogan's voice, wasn't it? Uh, he voices the, uh, it's like a new lawnmower they're trying to buy. It's like the Terrafinator that just kills everything. And the Hulk Hogan voices it. And I recognize it the second he started saying brother a lot. Uh, but these are just points that I liked. Uh, you don't care about. <laughs> uh, what else? But it was pretty fun overall, like, uh, like I said before, it's got a very Toy Story feel. If you like Toy Story, you'll probably like this. It's not it's not quite as good, but it's still a fun time. Uh, it's a pretty, it's, it's like a, a story of Romeo and Juliet, but in gnome form. And, uh, what else can be said about it? Uh, it's got some pretty sad moments. Uh, I guess it's the, uh, the flamingo that gets me, uh, he has a pretty sad story, what happened to him and his, his love flamingo. And he's a pretty funny character, he's just, like the, the comic relief, although there's plenty of comic relief in it, but he's the main comic relief. Uh, him I didn't know who he was, I read in the credits it was Jim Cummings, who I don't recognize the name. Uh, for, for a while I thought it was actually Robin Williams, but clearly it wasn't him. Um, so, uh, not much to say, uh, it's a fun animated movie. If you're uh, looking for something uh, in that genre, go ahead and see it. You won't be disappointed. Uh, not one of the greatest of all time, obviously, but it's fun to watch. Uh, so, if you're in the mood, go see it. And if your girlfriend loves garden gnomes like mine does, you're going to have to go see it. Uh, but uh, don't worry, you'll have a good time. It's not a bad movie. Enjoy.